This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Rael Creighton. A highly respected South Florida prosecutor is dealing with some legal trouble of her own. Aventura police say Stacey Honowitz stole about $43 worth of beauty products from a public store while shopping there with her family. The 56-year-old bought $125 worth of groceries but was captured on surveillance video putting the beauty products in her purse. Those who have worked with Honowitz say they're stunned. I've known Stacey Honowitz for over 20 years. I've tried cases with her. She's beyond reproach, and these allegations are surprising to me and shocking, and I would doubt that they're true, and I would bet that she is innocent. In a statement, an attorney for Honowitz says she inadvertently did not pay for the cosmetics when she checked out, and there was no intent to commit a crime. The state attorney's office says Honowitz has been suspended pending an administrative review. Well, new this morning, many are outraged after a celebrity chef prepared an expensive meal for Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro. Lucert Gauche was also known as Salt Bay, posted videos to Twitter and Instagram showing him preparing a meal for Maduro at his Istanbul restaurant. The video was blasted on social media, with many saying it's tone deaf as Venezuelans struggle to get enough to eat. Senator Marco Rubio condemned Gauche preparing the lavish meal, writing on Twitter that he's not sure who the, quote, weirdo Salt Bay is, but the guy he is so proud to host is not the president of Venezuela. He is actually the overweight dictator of a nation where 30 percent of the people eat only once a day and infants are suffering from malnutrition. The videos have since been deleted from Gauche's social media accounts. Now to a CBS 4 News safety alert. Police at FIU releasing a new rendering of the person who attacked two high school students on the Biscayne Bay campus last week. This is what the victims say the suspect looks like. He's also likely young, likely a little under six feet tall and has black hair and brown eyes. The students were in a wooded area on a class assignment when they were severely beaten. Anyone with information is asked to call Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers. The number is 305-471-TIPS. A rabies alert in part of southwest Miami-Dade County has just been extended for another 60 days. Here's a map of the affected area. It goes from southwest 152nd Street to southwest 187th Street between 117th and 137th Avenues. Health officials say another raccoon tested positive for rabies in the area. This is the sixth confirmed rabbit animal identified in the county this year. The rabies alert now ends on November 16th. Now, CBS4 weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. Good Tuesday morning, South Florida. We are enjoying plenty of sunshine and temperatures are responding. It's warming up 81 in Miami, 80 in Fort Lauderdale, 86 in Key West. We've had some scattered showers this morning, still dealing with a little bit of rain in spots here through parts of Port Everglades earlier. Some of the roads will be slick there, as well as through North Bay Village, Miami Shores. The breeze right now to the north in Broward and Dade County light there, but east down through the Keys and highs will climb to the low 90s today with most of the storms pushing inland this afternoon a mix of sun and spotty storms the next few days more of the same even as we head into later this week in the weekend summary weather pattern continuing in the meantime post tropical cyclone Florence is still bringing some rain to parts of the Carolinas but especially to the mid-Atlantic the northeast New England areas and in terms of the flooding it has been historic in North Carolina the river still rising expected to crest today remaining above flood stage possibly through the weekend in South Carolina a major flooding forecast rivers crossing this weekend and then we have the remnants of Isaac this area of showers and storms the hurricane center is only giving this zero percent chance so at this point cyclone development not expected however as it moves west northwest and brings moisture to the Yucatan and Cuba we'll be keeping our eyes on this and anything else that pops up in the tropics reel all right, Lisa, thank you. That's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune in to CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.